All right, guys, a new trailer for Festival of the Lost just launched. If you've seen this trailer, feel free to skip to the timestamp above. If you have not, watch it right now. Hello again. Lots has happened since we last met, hmm? Make the most of this time while you have it. is uncertain, but we always have today. Man, I've never been a big fan of metal music, but that, that was amazing. Bungie can make some trailers, right? All right, for those that don't know though, Festival of the Lost is essentially the Halloween event inside of Destiny 2. It does have some participation requirements. You have to be at least 770 power, and you have to have escaped the Cosmodrome to unlock the tower, most notably for new light players. It does begin next Tuesday though, on October 6th, all the way through November the 3rd. Now, Eva Levante, who's going back to the tower, who heads off pretty much all of our holiday events. We'll be back again at the Tower Courtyard, giving out this quest, granting us access to the Haunted Forest, as well as multiple Festival of the Lost rewards. Speaking of rewards, let's go over it. First up, we've got the return of the Hard Story and Bray Tech Werewolf Auto Rifles. They're probably gonna have random rolls, or they should have random rolls. The downside is that they're both 450 round per minute autos, which kinda sucks, but who knows? Maybe 450s are gonna get a buff in the next sandbox? I have no idea. Now we had access to randomly roll break ticks last Halloween event. I'm pretty sure Har story has never had random rolls. These are the rolls right here that you can actually get on Har. Get something that's really beautiful about this weapon. Number one, it comes with scopes, so greatly boost our range there. Number two, it's that same gun model of like origin story. But this weapon also comes with a number of the new perks that came out this past season. Sympathetic Arsenal, Killing Wind, etc. Probably the biggest trade combination we're going to be going for is firmly planted and possibly moving target to Together. For PvE players, both Sympathetic Arsenal and Demolitionist, or even Osmosis, is going to be the play on this auto. Now, other rewards that are going to be given out for this event is, of course, candy and chocolate strange coins. You essentially get these by defeating enemies and completing activities inside of Festival of the Lost, but only while a mask is equipped. Both candy and chocolate strange coins, though, can be used to purchase rewards as well as other masks. And these are our masks right here. Look at this. Okay, so you got the normal traveler mask. You got a very mask yeah yeah exo stranger mask and a bray mask a wrapped traveler mask and a bubbling mask which might be my favorite now throughout this event there'll be masqueraders masks that you can equip which is supposed to contribute to our power see it's got like helmet arc solar void etc so it might actually like enhance recharge rates of some of those subclasses but we also have some new exotics coming with this event the restless shell the tomb rider and the rap speed which is kind of funny look at it it's wrapped up now the masqueraders helmet We'll be able to slot these Festival of the Lost mods. Higher Purpose, Vampiric Touch, Energetic Assassin. Things that boost our grenade and melee cooldowns, or just outright increases our damage, or even increase drop chances of heavy ammo. Overall, Festival of the Lost is looking pretty fun. There will be universal armor ornaments that we'll be able to attain through Eververse. On top of a new Festival of the Lost emblem, which I gotta say, guys, looks absolutely sexy. Look at this. It's freaky. Now, the TWAB later today, might give us a few more details on Festival of the Lost, but I think that's pretty much it. Again, the event starts next week. We'll go all the way until November the 3rd, which is a week before Beyond Light actually launches. We are speculating that we might get the sandbox update a week before Beyond Light, meaning whatever the big shift that happens in the sandbox might happen on November the 3rd as well. We'll see if the TWAB has anything to say about it later today. I will say, as of now, the big news topic that everyone's asking for is when the raid date drops. Bunch 
Bungie has announced in the past that they're looking to make raid dates on the weekend to allow for more players to go for Worlds first. So some of us are speculating that November the 10th is when Beyond Light, of course, drops and November the 14th is when the raid actually drops. Hopefully we get some news on that this afternoon. Either way it goes, we've got a month of Festival of the Lost. It's a great opportunity to hunt down resources. Again, these bounties here from Festival also offers good XP. And if you're like me, you're already hoarding bounties. Bright Dust Glimmer, as well as those Chocolate Strange Coins. And I know Hard Story and Bray Tech are both 450s, which is not great for variety there. Kind of let down by that. Tracking down a God Roll with these Cypher Decoders might not be that difficult. And we just don't know what the next sandbox is going to bring. 450s could be meta again. The last time 450s were meta was Year One Destiny 2. So who knows, man? Well, let me know in the comments below what you think. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.